Let's start the reading. But before we read, please note that this is reading for a purpose. We have to understand the um, clearly understand the meaning of this whole passage, um, and there are quizzes uh, to um, take. 그래서 우리 quiz sentence uh, quiz부터 봅시다. Let's look through uh, the quiz sentences um, and uh, think about where should we focus on. 자, 가. Number one, 가 봅시다. You have to uh, write true or false for each sentence. 1번, 완 씨는 서울 생활이 재미없어요. What does it mean? For one, living soul, soul life is not fun. Is it true or is it false? Let's find out later. Number two, 완 씨는 다음 달에 이사할 거예요. We have to check. Oh. Okay, 다음 달, is it next month? And is it true he's moving? 완 씨는, uh, 완 is moving out next month. 3번, 완씨 하숙집이 학교에서 멀어요. Okay, he's, 하숙집 아직 몰라요. 하숙집 뭐예요? Uh, 이거 boarding house, boarding house. So one's boarding house is far from school. One 시 하숙집이 학교에서 멀어요. Far from school. Is it true? Let's see. Number four. One 시는 미나 씨 집에서 한국 요리를 배울 수 있을 거예요. 자, what does it mean? Um, it's quite long sentence, isn't it? Let's analyze it. 자, 완시는, this is subject, where is the verb? 자, 배울 수 있을 거예요 is a verb. 자, uh, components, how many components are there? Uh, two, three, two or three. 자, 배우다 있네요, 배우다, to learn. Plus, 을수 있다 있네요, can. And, 을 거예요 있네요, future tense. What does it mean? Will be able to learn. So this is a verb. Where is the object? 한국 요리. How do we know? 를 있어요. Object marker. 를. So this is object. So the rest of them, 뭐예요? Rest of it is uh, the, the additional information. What, what is the essential structure? One, will be able to learn. Korean cuisine, Korean cooking. And then what is additional information? At location marker. At Mina's house. Okay? 자, number five, 갑시다. 완 씨는 방학 때 고향에 안갈 거예요. We have to check this one, isn't it? One won't. One will not go to the hometown. 고향 하면 홈타운이죠? During the vacation. So probably you have to check this. Whether he, he will go or not. 좋습니다. 자, 나. 나 봅시다. 나. Number one. You have to find this information. 누가 누구한테 편지를 썼어요? 자, where is the subject? 누가. This is subject. What is the verb? 썼어요. Aha, this is a past tense. So what is the base form? 쓰다. Which means to write. Who wrote? Who wrote what? 편지를. Ah, object marker. So what is 편지? 편지 means letter. Who wrote letter? 누구한테 will be object, but this is indirect object. 편지 is direct object. Hmm, this is indirect object. In English, um, who wrote a letter? To whom? Done? 그래서 we need to find out who wrote to whom a letter. So number two. 완 씨는 다음 주에 뭐할 거예요? 자, 완 씨는 this is subject and this is a verb. This is actually object. 그래서, what will he do when next week? 
What will he do next week? And why? So number three. 학교에서 미나 씨 집까지 시간이 얼마나 걸려요? We have to know this phrase, isn't it? How long does it take? How much time does it take? From school to Mina's house. How long does it take? We have to find out. Number four. Mina 씨 집에서 살아요. 그럼 뭐가 좋아요? Uh, there is no subject in this sentence, isn't it? Uh, 살아요 is a verb. You leave at Mina's house. Do you leave at Mina's house? Then, what is good? What is the advantages um, living in Mina's house? Let's find out. Number five. 완 씨는 방학 때뭐할 거예요? What will one do during the vacation? Let's find out. Done? So, let's do the reading. In this reading, we're going to analyze the sentence as uh, much in detail. So, let's practice. Uh, okay. 보고 싶은 어머니께 This is how you write a letter in Korean. Or if you want to write a... Um, to a friend, you can say 보고 싶은 친구에게, isn't it? 자, 친구에게. They are both indirect object marker, but 게 is honorific form because we're talking to your mom. 자, 보고 싶다 있네요. 보고 싶은 modify the uh, uh, mother. 자, base form 뭡니까? 보고 싶 입니다. 보고 싶다 뭐예요? Want to meet, want to see, want to watch. 자, 그래서 how would you interpret it? To mom, to mother, who I want to meet, who I want to see, who I miss. 자, next sentence. First sentence 갑시다. 어머니, 안녕하세요. Hello, mother. 저는 서울에서 잘 지내요. Uh, subject, there'll be subject, and where is the verb? 잘 지내요. I would say 잘 지내요 is a whole of verb cluster because 지내다 means 지내다 is base form of verb, isn't it? To spend time, mm, to leave. 그리고 아이고, 그리고 잘 is adverb, which means well. 그래서, how would you interpret it? I live well at Seoul. 서울 생활이 아주 재미있어요. So where is the subject? The Seoul 생활 is a subject. How do we know? There's a subject marker here. Living at Seoul or Seoul life is very interesting. Also, I would say this whole cluster is a verb. So, very interesting. Seoul life is very interesting. 친구들이 많아요. Simple subject because there's a subject marker and verb. 많다, to be honest. 많다 is um adjective, isn't it? But I said in Korean, structurally, um, uh, we hardly distinguish distinguish between verbs from adjectives. So I will just say, okay, this is a verb. So I, 친구들이 많아요. What does it mean? There are lots of friends. There are lots of friends, but this is the way that we say we have many friends. 학교 공부도 재미있어요. Okay, where's the subject? 학교 공부도 is a subject. So instead of subject marker, 가, he chose 도. Why? To emphasize uh, school study as well. Interesting. So this is a verb. School study too. Interesting. 자, 그런데 하숙집이 좀 불편해요. Simple, 자, 하숙집이 subject, 좀 불편해요, verb. A little bit, a little bit, uncomfortable, 
uncomfortable. So how's a tip? I said uh, before, um, boarding house. This is a special um, accommodation style in Korean around the Korean universities. So, however, boarding house is a little bit uncomfortable. When you have because. 하숙 집에서 요리할 수 없어요. 자, where is the subject here? Excellent. There is no subject, isn't it? It is hidden. 자, 요리할 수 없어요 is a verb. Can't cook. Who can't cook? Everyone in the house. So, um, the hidden subject will be 우리는 or 저는, I or we. 우리는 or 저는 하숙집에서 요리할 수 없어요. We can't cook at the boarding house. 그리고 하숙집이 학교에서 너무 멀어요. And boarding house, this is a subject. And this is verb, too far. So boarding house is too far from school remember far from somewhere we need 에서 그래서 다음 주에 이사할 거예요 자 where's the subject exactly hidden there's no subject isn't it so where's the verb 이사할 거예요 is a verb in the future tense isn't it so what is the who will move I will move, isn't it? So, a sudden, a uh, hidden subject will be I. 그래서 저는 다음 주에 이사할 거예요. I will move out next week. 친구 미나 집에서 살 거예요. Again, no subject, but we, but we already know uh, the hidden subject will be I. 자, 살 거예요. Okay, future tense. Um, 자, uh, what, what is the base form? 자, 살다입니다. To leave. Okay, 살다. So I will leave at my friend Mina's house. Mina는 참 좋은 친구예요. 자, subject. I will say this is a verb and this is complement. So this is equivalent to English sentence. Mina is such a good friend. Now, 봅시다. 참 좋은 modifies the friend. So actual noun is friend here. So this is actual noun. Mina subject is a verb. This is equivalent to is, the be verb, isn't it? Such a good friend. This is compliment. So the final sentence, 가족도 친절해요. So who, 가족도 친절해요. Uh, okay, I would say this is a subject, although... The marker is not the subject marker. He chose to to emphasize what? Her family as well. Her family also. Her family too. Very kind. Nice. This is a verb. Although meaning wise is adjective. Um, 그래서 her family also is also uh, very kind. 그리고 미나 집이 학교에서 아주 가까워요. Subject 미나 집이 Where's the verb? 아주 가까워요. Very close. From where? Again, from school. 걸어서 5분쯤 걸려요. I would divide it into two. This is quite short sentence, but I'm going to divide it here. So the main sentence will be 5분쯤 걸려요. We already know that time, 이, or, 가, 걸리다. What does it mean? This is grammar point, isn't it? Grammar structure. Um, it takes about this time. So it means it 
takes about five minutes. Jim is about. Instead of Jim, you can also use 정도. 5분 정도 걸려요. Or 5분쯤 걸려요. What does it mean? It takes about five minutes. 자, 걸어서. This is a um, connective ending, isn't it? 아서, 어서, 해서. Here, it means method. 그래서, by foot. It takes about five minutes by foot. 저는 미나 집에서 한국말을 연습할 수 있을 거예요. It's quite simple. Where's the subject? 저는 subject 있어요. Where's the verb? 연습할 수 있을 거예요. Oh, such a long verb, isn't it? 자, let's analyze it. How many components are there? Base form, 연습하다, to practice. 을수 있다, can, plus, 을 거예요, which means future tense. So, all together, how would you interpret it? I will be able to practice what? Practice what? Korean. This is object. Where? At Mina's house. Done? I will be able to practice Korean language at Mina's house. 그리고 한국 요리도 배울 수 있을 거예요. Again, where's the verb? Because there's no subject here. 자, 배울 수 있을 거예요 is a verb, isn't it? Again, how would you interpret it? I will be able to learn what? Learn what? 한국 요리. Now, this is quite important. We don't know it is object until we interpret it. Why? Because the writer chose 도 instead of the object marker, 을 or 를. Okay? Again, uh, it's, it's the same case. Uh, the, uh, the writer also can change uh, the subject marker, 이, 가, or topic marker, 은, 는, um, to do. <clears throat> so, uh, in these cases, we need to interpret uh, the sentence itself so to, to judge whether uh, this is object or subject. Here, it will be object, isn't it? Uh, because it means, and I will be able to learn Korean cuisine, Korean cooking. 자, 빨리 미나 집으로 이사하고 싶어요. 자, there's no subject as well. Um, where's the verb? 여기, 이사하고 싶어요. Shall we analyze it? Where's the, uh, sub, uh, the base form? 이사하다. Plus, 보 싶다. Plus, 어요. Sentence ending. 자, 그래서 고 싶다. How would you interpret it? Want to. 어떻게, so what does it mean? I want to move. I want to move towards, towards Mina's house quickly. I really, I want to move in to Mina's house quickly. 어머니, 정말 보고 싶어요. Again, 보고 싶어요. This is a whole verb. Oh, I forgot to mark here. Uh, I want to, I miss you so much. 정말 보고 싶어요. How would you interpret it? The same way, isn't it? 보다 plus 고 싶다 plus 어요. Sentence ending. So how would you interpret it? I want to see you. I miss you. Really. Very much. 이번 학기가 한달 후에 끝나요. 자, this is subject. 이번 학기, 학기 means semester. So this semester ends, 끝나다, ends in, uh, after, after one month. 한달 후에. This is additional information, isn't it? 자, this semester ends after one month. 방학 때 방콕에 돌아갈 거예요. 자, where's the verb? 돌아갈 거예요. 
uh, where what is the base form? Like, what does it mean? Go back plus 을 거예요. Future tense. So I will go back. Where? To Bangkok. When? 방학 때. Uh, during the during the vacation. 그때 만나요. Let's meet then. So again. It looks like the statement ending. However, it we should we should interpret it as positive. 그래서 let's meet. Let's meet then. 그럼 안녕히 계세요. Goodbye then. 그리고 여기 에, date 있죠? 날짜 5월 16일. And then the writer who wrote this letter. One only miss. This is a way to uh, finish the letter, um, uh, especially in uh, especially when you need to be polite. So you say uh, your name and ulim or tirim. Ulim or tirim. This is how you uh, finish letter uh, the letter politely. Okay, very good, everyone. Okay, we finished this whole uh, reading passage. Um, let's move on to the uh, questions. Uh, let's revisit these sentences and um, find the answer. Num 가 봅시다, 가. Number one, 완 씨는 서울 생활이 재미없어요. Is it true? Falls. He thinks soul life is such a fun. Number two, 완 씨는 다음 달에 이사할 거예요. Was it next month? We know he will uh, move. Oh, it's here, isn't it? 다음 주에 이사할 거예요. So this is correct. Number three, 완씨 하숙집이 학교에서 멀어요. It was true, wasn't it? Because he says 하숙집이 학교에서 너무 멀어요. So this is true. Number four. 완 씨는 미나 씨 집에서 한국 요리를 배울 수 있을 거예요. Was it true? Possibly because it says 한국 요리도 배울 수 있을 거예요. Where? 미나 씨 집에서. It was a context, wasn't it? So this is true. 자, 완 씨는 방학 때 고향에 안갈 거예요. Was it true? 자, he says 방학 때 방콕에 돌아갈 거예요. So, this is not true. Very good. Okay, so, 나 봅시다. 누가 누구한테 편지를 썼어요? Who wrote this letter to whom? 완 씨가 누구한테 썼어요? 어머니한테 썼어요. I wouldn't repeat 편지를 because it's too obvious. Here, this is okay, 80% correct. Why? Because we have to use honorific form. Okay, here. So this is perfect. 완 씨가 어머니께 썼어요. 자, number two. 완 씨는 다음 주에 뭐할 거예요? 자, 다음 주에 완씨뭐 해요? 이사할 거예요. 자, 왜 해요? You can choose um, either 하숙집이 좀 불편해요. Or 하숙집이 학교에서 너무 멀어요. So you can choose either uh, for the, the reason. But I will write um, 다음 주에 이사할 거예요. Ta number three. 학교에서 미나 씨 집까지 학교에서 미나 씨 집까지 얼마나 걸려요? Ta where is it? Ta 미나 집이 학교에서 아주 가까워요. Mina's house is very close to school. Five minutes, isn't it? It takes five minutes by foot. 
그래서 어떻게 말해요? 5분쯤 걸려요. As I said, you can use 5분 정도 걸려요. It's the same. 똑같아요. It's the same. 자, number 4. 미나 씨 집에서 살아요. 그럼 뭐가 좋아요? If you live at Mina's house, what is good? What is good? 뭐가 좋아요? So many things. You can choose either. 자, first of all, 미나 씨 집에서 한국말을 연습할 수 있을 거예요. 그리고 number two, 한국 요리도 배울 수 있을 거예요. Isn't it? 아, 어, 그리고 number three. 자, 여기 또 있네요. 미나 씨 집이 학교에서 아주 가까워요. 그리고 if you want, you can put this one as well. 미나 씨가 참 좋은 친구예요. 미나 씨 가족도 친절해요. Done? Uh, there are so many reasons to move into Mina's house. 자, number five. 완 씨는 방학 때 뭐할 거예요? What will he do during the vacation? 어디 있어요? 방학 때 방콕에 돌아갈 거예요. 자, 방학 때뭐할 거예요? 방콕에 돌아갈 거예요. Or instead of Panko, you can use this word, hometown. 고향에 돌아갈 거예요. It's the same. Very good, very good, everyone. 자, 라 봅시다, 라. Fill in the blanks. 자, this is quite summary, isn't it? 같이 합시다. Let's do it together. 완 씨는 다음 주에 이사할 거예요. 완 will move next week. 친구 미나 씨 집에서 살 거예요. He will live at uh, a friend Mina's house. 미나 씨는 참 좋은 친구예요. Mina is such a good friend. 미나 씨 something도 친절해요. What is it? Mina's family is also nice, wasn't it? 그래서 It starts with 기억. 기억으로 시작해요. 그래서 가족도 친절해요. 그리고 미나 씨 집이 학교에서 아주 미나's house from school very close wasn't it? 가까워요. 걸어서 5분쯤 걸려요. It takes about 5 minutes by foot. 완 씨는 미나 씨 집에서 한국 요리를 배. So what was it? Will be able to learn, wasn't it? 자, how, if, you, if you're not familiar with the conjugation, let's analyze it. 자, 을 거예요. The other way around. 자, future tense. 그리고 을수 있다 있죠? Can. 그리고 learn, 배우다 있어요. 그래서 어, 여기 수 있을 거예요 is already given, wasn't it? So you have to conjugate this bit. 어떻게 해요? 배울 수 있을 거예요. Finally, 그리고 한국말도 자, this was 을 거예요. Let me recycle. 자, 을 거예요. 을수 있다. And what was the base form of this verb? Practice. I will be able to practice uh, Korean language. 그렇죠? 그래서 연습하다 있어요. 그리고 we have to, it, this was also given, so we have to conjugate this bit. 어떻게 말해요? 연습할 수 있을 거예요. Done? 아주 수고하셨습니다. Very good, everyone. 자, 